Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm back and I just wanted to jump on and encourage you right now in this time of year as a homeschooling mom because sometimes this time of year can get kind of gloomy, kind of lonely, kind of depressing, kind of like, okay, I'm tired of the mundane, I'm tired of the routine, what can I do? So if you're interested in this little pep talk video, stay tuned. So yes, I've been there, I've done that, okay? Um, this is my um, second year of formal homeschooling on the books through the county with the paperwork and all that. But pretty much I've been homeschooling my kids from birth. My oldest is six and a half. So I've been doing this thing with him or with all my kids at home for a while. So I understand that this time of year can be hard for you whether you're a homeschooling mom or not because the weather is starting to change. Um, if you don't have seasonal affect disorder, diagnosed on the books but you might actually kind of start to feel a little more slower a little lazier around this time of year because the sun is setting earlier it's cloudier it's colder outside um you can't just take your kids outside as often as you like your kids start to feel sick around this time of year the snotty noses the the the, the coughing the flu symptoms all these things culminate in you just generally feeling like look i need a nap i need a break <laughs> and I definitely have been there done that and I just want to encourage you because this is normal if you're a first time homeschooling mom this is normal um, around this time of year these things start to happen because guess what September was brand new and fresh and you got all your new supplies and your new books and your new ideas and your new curriculum and you were just ready to go but after doing this for about 50 days now you're like okay I'm tired and that's perfectly fine and I just want to talk to you about a few things that you can do when you start feeling kind of um blah <laughs> in your homeschooling journey because in their homeschooling year this usually tends to happen now and then again in about March you'll start to feel that way as well so let's talk about a few things that you can do when you're starting to kind of feel a little reluctant and a little um just burnt out during this time of year first thing you want to do is Pray. Now, whether you're Christian or not, I suggest that you talk to whatever higher power you believe in and honestly ask him to reveal to you what it is that makes you passionate about what you do. If you have a mission statement, a homeschooling mission statement, a family mission statement, it's time to open that back up and read it again and ask God to give you that passion back again. It's also time for you to just ask him to show you, okay, what is it that really gets me going in this thing? And he'll reveal things to you. Seriously, ask him to, to re-energize me god re-energize me re-motivate me show me what it is about this thing that kept me going from the beginning because i know it's something i love desperately so god i just need you to show me how to push through this time of laziness pretty much <laughs> now the second thing you need to do is you definitely need to realize that you are not alone okay you need to reach out to a friend who's also a homeschooler you need to reach out to your husband you need to reach out to your close pals you need to read some blogs you need to do some googling some youtube searching um hop on instagram put a post up that says hey i'm kind of not feeling it right now how about you and guess what people will tell you the same thing too and there are tons of resources out there that tell you what to do with homeschool burnout what to do when you're starting to feel a little drained and you're tired of the mundane and you're feeling a little reluctant so go ahead and tap into those resources out there because they do exist number three what you definitely should do is change up your routine and I find that whenever I'm kind of tired of the same old same old it's because I'm tired of the same structure of the day and the scheduling and my kids might feel the same way too so what we need to do is literally take a couple of days off yes I said it you can stop that's why we homeschool because we have that option to say you know what for the next three days, we're gonna take nature walks and we're gonna write down everything that we see around us in the world and we're gonna take time to observe what God has created and we're gonna write in our nature journals and we're gonna take pictures and we're gonna collect specimens and we're just gonna enjoy being in nature with each other and that's it. And you know, then follow that up with books that correspond with that. Just be relaxed, take it slow. You might wanna just sit on the couch for a couple of days and do nothing but reading and reading out loud and having the kids read to you and the kids read to each other. 
that might be what you have to do it's okay to switch it up and change up the routine and do a little more relaxed um, approach just to get you um, that rest that you need another thing that you should definitely do is take time for you if you're feeling tired it's because you are tired it's time for you to take a little mommy break maybe you can go out with a friend um take a day off and then just tell your husband hey look can you take off friday um from work i just need to hang out go sit in barnes and noble sip on a frappuccino you know write in a journal read some books go surfing on the internet for hours for resources for motivation or maybe just to do absolutely nothing but go upstairs and go to sleep seriously sometimes you just need a break and the last thing i need you to do and what i need to do as well is to sit back and count my blessings and realize that not everybody has the option to be home with their children who want to be home with their children not everybody has that option and that i need to just be grateful for that alone um i talked to my husband and he always gives me a fresh perspective on things he's like sometimes i don't want to go to work he's like i'm living my passion i love my job but sometimes i don't want to go in sometimes i want to stay home with my family and then when you think about that you're like you know what why do i feel like as a homeschool mom that i'm immune to those feelings of um you know just 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 burnout and reluctance we all experience it sometimes even people working in their dream jobs and pursuing their passions they get tired sometimes and they too need a break so why do you think that you don't need a break it's time to take the break but not only that but to be grateful for the fact that you can take a break okay and that you can redo it and do it differently and make it more exciting for you so I just wanted to pop on here and just give you the little pep talk that it's gonna be all right all right this doesn't mean that you need to stop homeschooling this doesn't mean that this is not your cup of tea this doesn't mean that you are the worst mom ever it just means that you're human and it's normal and guess what after the holidays and after spending time with your family you're gonna feel awesome and you might experience this feeling again around March because you want to just push through as the weather gets warmer now you just want to just be outside all the time you want to just do other things all the time but um it happens it happens but guess what stay true to the purpose that you've been called to do stay stay true to the passion that you have and just never let it die just because you feel kind of blah for a couple of weeks here and there okay so I just wanted to touch base with you guys and just let you know that hey we're all in this together and it happens keep pushing through because it's totally normal okay guys so um, that's all I want to say I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful week all right bye-bye